Hey there guys, Trogdar here again and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you an actually working anvil reloader. So if you guys built my anvil reloader, the last one I did in survival and you had a broke anvil or an anvil that was slightly damaged, you'd realize that this or the other one didn't work correctly and when it got slightly damaged it would actually send a new anvil out which is not what we want we want it to do it uh, to basically only send the anvil out when this breaks so we have to count the updates uh, so that's how we're going to do it so let's just do a quick demonstration so this is completely undamaged and we're just going to simulate the stages so this is undamaged if we break it it will simulate a slightly damaged anvil if we place another one it will simulate a very damaged anvil and then if we break this it will simulate it actually breaking and it should uh, push out a new anvil for us so we broke it and there you go it's going to send out a new anvil this one also has a reset button up here uh, that's mainly there because we're running on a counter and the counter gets messed up this would never work right so say you had somebody just decide they want to take an anvil from your base you had a full anvil here and they broke it and took it well the counter is going to be off it's going to think there's a slightly damaged anvil here so in order for you to get a new anvil you just press this button it will send out the next anvil and it will reset the counter for it so it will know that this is a brand new anvil that being said you have to make sure you put brand new anvils in this thing just because this is configured for brand new anvils uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say again I, I uh, place this button that's one difference and then I don't this window right here is basically just to let you know that you're out of anvils so when the last anvil comes out here this will be empty and you'll know that you'll need more anvils anyways guys let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial okay guys we're going to start off with a three by six hole that is three deep so on flatlands just dig down to bedrock uh, for the front we're going to come up here we're going to take an observer block place it face down like that from there we're going to actually build our platform so we're going to do like so like that and I'm just going to fill this in too uh, then you can get rid of this one right there and then on the observer block you're going to come out two like that and those are going to be permanent blocks and then the next three three are actually just temporary so we'll get rid of those in a second those are just to help us place these two pistons like that and then you can go ahead and put your wall block on that piston that's why we don't have it there because it will push out to there now we're going to build our double piston extender up here so we're going to place three blocks like that on this side you're going to place redstone dust on that one a four tick repeater so full delay on that one uh, then another redstone dust on that one then you're going to place another four tick delay repeater on that one 
into a block and then another block right there with redstone dust on it and that's our double piston extender so if I press this full extension full retraction there you go now we're just going to set a piston or a regular piston right there so the two down here are sticky pistons this one's a regular one and that's it for the top for the most part so let's uh, go ahead and go down to the bottom so this is the block with redstone dust right here so that's that block right there so we're going to place a block right here with a redstone torch on this block powering the black with redstone dust on it. Once you do that you'll see your double piston extender extend and that's good. Now we need to place in our um, pulse extender. So we're going to do that by placing a black there and then four blacks right there. I'm going to take a comparator place it right there going into that block and then you're going to place it's getting hard to move. I'm going to clear out some space back here. Then you're going to place a comparator on this middle block going this way. So the first one's going into that block, and then this one's facing this way. Then you're going to take redstone dust, place two right there and one right there, and that's our pulse extender. Uh, so when you put a pulse into that, it uh, lengthens it. Now this is where we're going to have something a little bit different from the last one. I'm going to go ahead and grab out some stuff. We're going to grab out a dropper and let's see we're going to grab out our dropper and a hopper. Might as well grab out the rest of the stuff. Dropper, hopper, I'm going to need a little bit of glass too. Uh, so basically we're going to take a dropper, here's the torch that we place. So underneath that torch we're going to place a dropper, actually it's one block below it. Uh, then we're going to crouch and place a hopper going into that dropper. And that will be locked by that torch. This is our counter so we can count the stages on our anvil. So what we're going to do is place five items into the dropper. Every time a pulse goes into that it will send an item into this hopper and then once it reaches, well once we're finished with it uh, it will send a pulse once there's no items in here, which will turn off this torch, which will retract this. But it will also turn that torch off and unlock this to send the items back down. So now all we have to do is hook this up to this. So we're going to do that by taking a comparator, placing it right on there like that. Take a black coming out of that comparator place it right there place a redstone torch on that block on the side of it then we're going to take a block place it on top of the torch place one right there and then this is the block that has the torch underneath it we're going to place a dust on it then we're going to take a two tick repeater make sure this is on two ticks and then that faces into our pulse extender. So when that runs out of items, the dropper, it will turn on the torch, which will uh, turn on our pulse extender, which will turn off the torch because the items will flow back into the dropper and so on. And that's how we get that. Now all we have to do is we're going to place a block right there, and I'll show you what that's for later. But now all we really have to do is take an input, or an output out of this, and put it into the input of this. So we're going to 
place a black right there. We're going to place two blacks right there, so one right underneath the observer. Redstone dust on those, and then redstone dust going into this block. That will activate the dropper, and that should be done on that part. Now that block that I just placed over here is going to be for our reset line. We're just going to place a dust on that and that's it. We'll place a button on this block and that's for our reset. And that should pretty much be it. So I'm going to destroy that block and place our window there so we can check to see if we have any anvils left. And the rest of these blocks are just uh, aesthetic blocks. Uh, since this pulls back you'll be able to see in here so we're going to place blocks here and here. Um, we'll place one there too. Then we're going to place a block here and here. We're going to place a block on top of that. And then we're just going to place some blocks there. And then that cle creates a little room right there and we'll be able to see our anvils in there. So let's grab our anvils out like that and I'll show you how this works. So basically with this one, the way you load this one up, you just place it on top of this piston head right there. And then you'll just stack them right on up. Uh, did that break something? No, it didn't break anything. You just stack them right up like so. Uh, then when you're done stacking them, you press this button once. It will load it into there for you. Um, I'll also show you the counter. So as you can see, the counter still has five items in it. And if we press it again, when it pu pu uh, pushes that into this, it actually pulses it twice. That's the reason why we have five items instead of four. So we had five, now we have three, which is good. That's how it's supposed to work. So there's three. So now if I go ahead and break this. So right now it's a, a brand new anvil. If we break it, it will simulate if it uh, goes to slightly damaged, so slightly damaged. Place another one, it's very damaged. And if we break this, it will simulate it breaking finally. And as you can see, it actually sends them out. And if it, everything works like it should, we should have three items in this. So there you go, guys. That is the entire tutorial. Hopefully this one works for you a little bit better than the other one did. Uh, thank you guys for telling me that this one didn't work. Mainly Brother of the Coast. Or yeah, Brother... I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, anyways guys. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.